Here. Kajowski. Patton. Here. Weiss. Here. Oh, sorry. Reese Weiss. Here. All right. Um, you have to have a motion to approve the agenda. Okay, I need a motion to approve the agenda by October 2nd, 2013. So moved. Does anybody have any additional orders, I guess? Okay. We have a second. I'll, I'll second. All in favor? Everybody? Yeah, just a voice vote. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, approval of minutes, uh, September 25th, regular meeting. Decision on who oh, to recommend it to the village council. Yes. Duh. Yep. Right. I told you I was with middle schoolers all day long. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Sorry about that. So we, we forgive you, Ripple. <laughs> um, so I've got a motion by Ken, second by Reese. Is that what I heard? For approval. Uh, all in favor? All right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can you can amend the agenda at that time if something comes up. Like say if you wanted it the Friday before the meeting, and then if something comes up, you can amend the agenda. But I it gives people time. I like to have it over the weekend. I know we try in the village too, it doesn't always work, but it's nice too, then you have that time to yeah. 
you know, like the bylaws, if the bylaws were to come something, you have time to read it, think about it. Because it, it does say at 6.3 6 that the secretary got to um, get the materials no later than two days prior to the next regular meeting. So it kind of is I agree. Kind of right. And you want to you want to try to do set it up so it's before the weekend so we've got a little bit of time downtime because they don't let us we're busy during the week. Mm -hmm. Just say one a week. Yeah, one a week. Then if something comes up too, we're gonna have to amend the agenda at, the, at that point. So I, I'm okay with, with the week or weekend before. But I guess if, if if the members want it like that Friday, Lisa should probably really have it Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Friday. Just get it ready. <laughs> You're not going to go on Saturday. It's the same amount of work to her no matter what day she does it. Right. And then it gives us, I would like it over the weekend. Well, if so we can say by so Wednesday. Say, how about they make, make it easy? By the before. Wednesday before the meeting. Before. 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 Okay, and then you will, you will have two days to distribute it. You will have it out by that yeah. Friday to the members. Okay. okay. Uh, All right, so the Wednesday before. So we, we will, how will we have that read? Um, so the secretary such do, we, do we have to motion for that at all? And we'll approve Well, the, it's part of the bylaws is all. Okay. Um, no, the, the independent secretary such item by noon on the, so we're doing a Wednesday proceeding. So we do noon on the Wednesday proceeding the next regular meeting. or the chairman or I mean I don't have a problem with that but I don't know how that I don't think it I don't know that it matters. Well it just you know it, these right. are just the bylaws. You know because what I mean? Because I, I did have you know, I did have like um Martin called me today to tell yeah. me what they so I, I I guess that that would be fine because if she's not available I probably will be. Right. right. And if she's not the secretary anymore right. then and, that, and that's the thing, is thinking ahead, you know, mm -hmm. to days when and, and how it would be, you know, beneficial for any future board. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I, I don't have any problem with adding chair or chairman to that. Okay. Or chairman or chair. Did you have anything else? Let's see.
that might this be would here. be an actual time because this would be when everybody's terms would be coming up and stuff. Um, no, do all, what, what section was that again? That is in 2.2. There's a difference between an annual meeting and a regular meeting. There is. Right, the annual meeting is like where, like, it's like the big giant thing, and, you know, in other organizations I've been involved in, it's when you, like, if you have any, well, any conflicts of interest, you're supposed to make those public, or if you've got it, you know, it's like where everything is cashed out and shaken out. on the table, right. Yeah. I, I don't have any issue with moving it to, to like October. That, I mean, that's all. Yeah, it was a real thing. I think it's a good idea since we're starting. That's a, yeah, to kind of give us a chance to review what we had done for a full year before we move on with, with mm -hmm. something else. And the people are still here, but it's not busy summer. And no. I'm going to be good. I, okay. I, I'm, I don't have a problem with that at all. So do we, should we change that and we'll just accept that these as amended by us? Annual meeting needs to be held in October. Okay. I think in 3.1, I'd, I'd just scratch the line about if the meeting falls on a holiday, when do you come next? When does it meet? Just get rid of it completely? I, I would. Then we discuss it the month before. Things can change. You know, like, like right now, one of our meetings is on window night. We'll probably discuss what we want to do. Yeah. Cancel it in December. I mean, I'm serious. It right. depends on the business in front of the board at the time. There may be, it may be December. We don't have a lot going on. And you may say, hey, let's just. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say every holiday it meets on the next Thursday or something. Because we've run into some other conflicting schedules. Let's try to get the schedule right in. Ahead of time. Make sure we know what we're doing. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that either. What are we saying in that place? I, I would scratch that last line where it says if any regular scheduled meeting falls on a legal holiday, I just wouldn't even address it. So we're moving out. Yeah, because right now we're meeting on window night and New Year's Day. You, you guys are going to be without me New Year's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I can be here New Year's Day, but can't window night. <laughs> okay, I'll cover for you window. No, I won't. I'm not coming with the night. Anybody have else have anything else? 2.6 says financial records of the DDA who together with the director. Should that be chairperson, chairman, or chair lady, or director is just a word that's not pleasing throughout the document. Like who's the director? Is that some other person or I don't know who the a DDA shall have a director can have a director if the funds allow to oh. hire somebody. So that's like a paid Yes. yes. So if you had funds to do that. You could hire somebody to be a full time okay. you know, director and, of yes. the DDA. And I'm wondering if that's why why that's there. Okay. Um, which we do not have treasure, which I believe is the next item on the list, but <laughs> Um, well, okay, well, that explains. Yeah, I'm worried about it right yeah, it's probably okay to leave at that point. Yeah. I just don't have a director. I, I would think so. Do we want to say if director, if, if, um, Jermaine, if Jermaine or if applicable or whatever? Or, um, because then this, it's not going to apply unless we have one, right? right. So, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know that it matters to change the language necessarily. I don't know. The DDA well, but who will the treasurer go over things with if there's no director, it would be the chairman. It would be the chairman. Right? chairman. chairman. So we should put director slash chairman. Yeah. 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 She'll provide the proper notice for all meetings of the board. I just wondered what proper would be. Is that you know 18 hours before a meeting or it, it, what's it, what's it's also proper? Meetings act. It would have to follow the meetings. All act. open meetings act says we have to do is post it. Once you have your first meeting, 
you, like we did last week, we make a schedule for the whole year, post that. And then, then outside of special meetings or change in dates or times or cancellation. 6.6? I think you just got to stick in public comment here in between five and six to make it cohesive with the agenda as it stands now. Uh -huh. What's the brief citizen comment then? Number six? Oh, well, maybe just reword it. Yeah, yeah reword it into that's what matched out for the public. And maybe down at 10 to seven citizens comment and try to say public on it. I'm actually old. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess just the last thing that I have is regarding the destruction, erase or destroyed um, the records in 8.2. The village keeps recordings forever or are they destroyed or what's I mean what's the what's the policy? I thought the township they kept their minutes and their records like forever. According what's to different? open meetings act the recording has to be kept until the minutes have been written and approved. That that's what the open meetings act states. Now whether we set policy that we always want to keep, I know in the village we we keep it if we have it. Why would you? Know, matter of fact, we're going to work on that right. a little more. Yeah, to hear from well, that's what I'm meeting, but pondering here too. As far as legally, thing, don't erase. I, I, I personally it. don't know why you had the recording. You would erase it personally. Right. I don't know, especially with you know the the digital age. Very, very easy yeah, to put it, yeah. every meeting we've ever had on a thumb drive for. So a can we scratch that part? And Not, let me. I have not truly. There was a lot of discussion early on too with who you would talk to on regards to it. Um, years ago, the office had a policy that they kept their recordings one year and then they just dropped them. But they uh, had written minutes by that too at that time. So, um, you know, Kenny is right though. I mean, two I'm blips of space on a CD or a yeah. drive. I'm a bigger <laughs> fan of myself anymore. I think that we should delete that sentence there after the recording may be erased or destroyed. Well, this is May, not sh well, or I shell. Know, but yeah. I just. That, that, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, what happens if they, if they don't get recorded? Is somebody going to be in trouble? Well, they all have to be recorded. Have well, if the, no, the recorder malfunctions. What? I mean, I, I, you know, what? I'm, I'm just questioning that. So if you, if you want to erase eight I, I agree with you. I, I, would, I would just get rid of it. Okay. Unless, unless somebody. I, I just don't say the reason why we're keeping Yeah. Just, that's fine. Where are we going to store? We don't have a place to store them, is it? <coughs> yeah. Again, just thinking, you know, down the road, how, you know, if there's ever any question, you want that available. It really is. If there's supposed to be an audio file kept until the minutes are written, where's our audio? Oh. <laughs> we, we, we haven't accepted these yet. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> Brad, 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 and the, these bylaws have been voted on. Next I hope we can meeting. have that past eight. I think you should do it anyway. I do my best. Start the meeting over. No, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody have anything else? Um, the only last thing is in 12.1 regarding the conflict of interest. Because we do have a couple of sets of married couples on board, can we, you know, define what conflict of interest is somehow because of that? or? Like Michelle says, in two or three years, we may not have married couples on the board, so does that matter? The DDA loss doesn't state anything in regards to married couples. The, it does state that the conflict of interest exists when somebody is on the board for their own personal like personal purposes. Like we're trying to steer you, and let's say we're going to, I'll pick on Bachman, so let's say we're going to you know, just work on Bachman stuff. That, that would be a conflict of interest for Michelle. We wouldn't want to do that. Um, is there a conflict of interest because there's two mission computers people or two wildflowers people? Only if we were, only if we were doing stuff just for us. If we were doing, you know, as far as I understand it. You're talking 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just saying there's a conflict of interest would prevent a member of the board present from voting. Um, just the nature has to be stated on the record. It doesn't change it. But you can have stay from voting if, if a conflict of interest. Because I'm sure when we get to go into the downtown area, there's going to be anything. That, not just not just married or whatever. It just could be anything. Well, you know somebody, you know, you know right. a person or, about somebody. So you just state it. And we're hiring somebody. Because I, I could see conflict of interest if you're hiring somebody from the board to do something that we'd be paying for, you know, we just yeah. different things like that. But I think in here it's, you know, that you cannot abstain unless there's a conflict of interest. And if there is, you have to state what it is. So you can't abstain just because you want to be a wuss, you know? Right, right. <laughs> you, right. Yeah. you just can't quite word it that way. You know? <laughs> 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 like <a> yeah. <laughs> considered during the meeting will go on to the next agenda because it looks a little gray there. It's just like, we're done, it's over. That's yeah, I think there's keep a reasonable old. time frame. Well, yeah, just move it to the next, right. have to move to the next right. meeting. But maybe just add those words that meeting. say things that were covered in this agenda or during this meeting. What's it say? Management should not be considered to be placed on the agenda of the next regular meeting. Is that what should say matters on the agenda which have not been considered during the meeting shall be placed on the upcoming agenda. I think that's just to keep it from running along. Every, if everybody wants to work late, everything we can vote it in and keep going. Oh, you just mean put it on this specific meeting? Well, if, if, if it does get to be 1030 and things aren't discussed, then all of that stuff moves to the next agenda, right? Right. Yeah. That, that's, that's what it's saying it. now. Well, the way I take it. But. Yeah. Matters on the agenda which have not been considered shall be placed on the agenda of the next regular meeting or on the agenda of a special meeting as called. I only suggested to say not been considered during the meeting that you're in and put onto an upcoming agenda. Just adding those two words to make it specific. Okay. I don't understand what I want to say. Just Matters on the agenda which have not been considered during the meeting, right? The meeting that you're in. I see what you're saying. Just wants a little more flow. Shall be placed on the upcoming agenda versus just leaving it. Because if you read this, it sort of sounds like at 10:30, we're done. We're out. We're not talking about anything else. Unless you Let's decide to stay later. Right. The council says two hours. It gives you wait. Yeah, really. I mean. I'm here until 10 30. I'm on the ball. I'm surprised he made it that late. <laughs> we need to know what time we were starting. We can change it. It's just a formality. It's right. a nice curfew time. So. <clears throat> yeah, because I, I think once the, I mean, everything on the agenda has to be covered or passed on, anyways. It just clarifies that. I think, I think it's good to add during That's the meeting fun. and upcoming. That, yeah, I think so too. Now just a question, do we have to publish our minutes in the newspaper? Are we the or, or is that not unless we decide we want to? Okay, so we don't have to do that. As far as I know, I think so. How are we gonna word it not be considered during the meeting shall be placed on the what? upcoming agenda? Upcoming agenda? Okay. Into the, the village where Rachel comes. I, 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 I don't know. 
I, I think maybe we should check on. We should probably check on that. But yeah. also, would would posting them to a website be sufficient? Not if somebody says they want them. I have, I have them, they'll be on my computer that I can make copies mm -hmm. off of. I mean, you want to be that person to make contact, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just but do they have to fill out the FOIA paperwork and stuff like that? Yeah. If they send you a request, it's a FOIA request. Okay. The way I've so, FOIA. If you get an email that says they want it, it's a FOIA request. Basically, honestly? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I would think I we would, should have DDAs up in our I would rather have Rachel handle that. Yes. I, 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 mean, I don't have to be the original or anything like that. I'm just saying, but there should be copies in our office. I, I, would I, emailing that copy that. to Rachel after every meeting be sufficient? That way, if somebody comes well, across your hand, yeah, I'm just saying that we want to make it. Right now, it says that Lisa is responsible for responding to, basically, to responding to FOIA requests. What? This is a little different. This is kind of goes with, the, with that. Does village, as village council, do we have an attorney that represents the village? Yeah. Yes. So do we have to have a attorney represent this? I kind of, I think that according to this, I think it's. You mean these bylaws? Or, or any? The, the or the just the Just yeah, everything, every aspect that to protect. All we are is an advisory board to the council, and so I would think that the council's attorney is also, I mean, covered. I, yeah, we're I think we're just advising. So we're under that umbrella. Yeah, yeah. all that's, we do is that's we advise I'm the council, and so any, you know, so the council's legal people would be our legal people too. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if we, yeah. nobody's mentioned anything about it, so. What about insurance to protect? You know, like as a business, you have liability insurance, trip or fall. Do we have to have some kind of insurance as we move forward on this? The only thing I saw, like in those bylaws here, there was uh, under the treasurer. The treasurer has to have a bond. Yes. Yeah. And we have to know, we have to get from an attorney what type of bond that is. I just have to buy insurance. Because there's 500 <laughs> different types of bonds. <laughs> we want the one Nobody really knows Probably what they are. Probably not talking to savings no. <laughs> no, just a, a So that's that's the only type of insurance that I know of is the type is the bond, which is a, the type of insurance, right? Yeah. But you, you mean like like actual trip and fall or business liability or or No, but as we approach things we're looking into developing downtown. I don't know. So many trips um, under, one of the houses in, I don't know, somebody wants to sue us. That's it. All of a sudden, I don't know. I think we would be I've never been sued in a business yet, but. I think that we would fall. Would that be under an umbrella of the insurance? I, of the but I, mean, like, I would think, because we're not really going to do any work, correct? Right? We have no power. No, we're just telling them what they need to do. Yeah, actually, I think well, it's well, <laughs> Actually, I've dealt with this a little bit with the uh, Michigan Press Association attorney, and you could be liable uh, if you violate the Open Meetings Act or the FOIA. Uh, you could be held liable and without the village attorney being available for you. It depends on the situation. The village attorney being what? The village attorney represents the village. If you personally do something really bad, <laughs> you'd have to do something really bad, obviously. Yeah, you have to do something really bad and violate FOIA or the Open Meetings Act, you could be held liable for that violation without representation from the village attorney. You could, right. You'd have to get but, your own attorney. But I think you're protected if you're acting in good faith. Like if you're right. trying to do the best you can with your, you know, like me, with my limited brain power, trying to do the best <laughs> I can, and if I make a big stupid mistake, I think I'm protected. Yeah. It's only if I get all nefarious and hit yeah. a, exactly. uh, a plan, then it's world domination, too. then I'm if we're, putting, if we're doing something downtown, it's already put out in the public and people are made aware. I think that might be spelled out in the act, how we represent the village or how, how we are attached I'll to the village. I'll just call the village insurance company and they'll call me. So <laughs> that's, right. that's just an easy way to deal with it, right? They're going to know right away. They might, they might know on that bonding issue also. That's what we call mobile. Yeah, good. I would think that we got there over our office. Yep, that's, that's, that's what we pay insurance agents for. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. They'll know. Yeah. I'll just call them and, and they've been real good. So, so uh, she'll tell us either where we are or what we do or what we need to do. Okay. Anything else on this um, on these bylaws? 
Well, we still haven't decided on the secretary and the FOIA. As far as I'm concerned, Rachel can. I would think. I, I would vote for Rachel. Okay. I would vote for Rachel. And that it's all here. Rachel wants to come here for everything. I don't know why we yes. can't. We probably have to appoint Rachel as the FOIA officer, I think, on the FOIA, to appoint any FOIA officer. So maybe at some point we will just have to make the statement that Rachel for the bill is clerical as the FOIA officer for the DEA. But I'll, I'll make sure we can do that. I don't know why we couldn't. Hopefully we can, but there's yeah. some silly rules on there. Even if you couldn't, even if, say, Lisa was a FOIA officer, having the files available in this office, if Rachel knew about them or whatever, she could help out at least. And I think it's a great idea to have. Yeah, yeah. Office yeah. Is all. yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. A, a central spot for them. I, I don't want foilable documents in my business. No so way. I don't, I don't want to come knocking on my door saying, hey, you have to give me this. I, I don't want to be responsible for that. That, that needs to be here. Or even if you have your, your business burned down or something, you don't want that like, precious exactly. stuff in there. Exactly. Yeah. I like the secretary button. So these rules, where, where were these developed? You got these from like the DEA? From Brian Graham. All of these came from Brian? He wrote these. Okay. Yes. And who is Brian? The village attorney. Oh, okay. And no one Brian had working with him. He did this for a lot of plain air. He did some research to find them stuff that other people have used. And you know, took a general. Right, he didn't read it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. As amended. I'll second that. Should we do a roll call on this? You want a roll call or just a roll call? I don't know if we need to on this. Can't really the only, I do roll calls a lot of times just so it's on the record of things like this. Is, so you truly know who voted this is. Anything that seems a little important, I know the council, I, I try to do a roll call just so there's a record of how you vote. Right, let's go ahead and do a roll call then. Fox? Is it I or yes? Yes. Yeah. Corey Hickson? Yes. Lisa, yes. Huckle, absent. Kenyon, absent. Kirk, absent. Cruzy? Yes. Joski, absent. Patton? Yes. Reese? Yes. White? Yes. Motion passes. terms of the remaining members, since Huckle and Kujowski are not here. We have a two-year, two a three-year, and a four-year left. What we have to do is initially, um, we have to stagger, and then it's a four-year term thereafter. <clears throat> so we've got, what did you say, two and a three and a two four? Two and three and a four left. And we, we let everybody pick how long they wanted to, to serve. <laughs> That's why there's no one year left. <laughs> yeah, where's the one year? The last one or last week? It's going to be a little volleyball game. And there was no vote on that. Um, we just went ahead and signed it. Let everybody choose that. So I understand as the next, like when Brian's up and that person's placed in his position, they have to serve a four year? Yes. And so we're going to be four year positions from here on. I understand. Okay. And he, I mean, he could just be reappointed to the same position as well, too, and if he wants to continue on. Okay. Um, we also have one uh, position yet left to fill treasurer position. You weren't here last week when we hit this. And I know many parts. <laughs> we, we have, well, right Actually, now. Actually, Bart still needs to do his oath, right? Or did he I do did my oath. Cool. 
So we've done, we, right now I'm chair, Tom Kenyon is vice chair, uh, Lisa's secretary, and we need a treasurer. And the, we'll have to furnish bonds as, uh, an amount prescribed by the board, which I'm not sure what that'll be, and probably a couple of yearly reports to start off with. So if you're interested, well, there's really no money in there right now, right? So right. now they're <laughs> 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 Sound like I have a choice. Well, we, we really wanted you. We, we actually. Is that why I'm sitting up here? <laughs> <laughs> we were just going to vote last week, but we thought it would be kind of nice. That's nice. <laughs> if you had a little bit of say so, then I have. Yeah. yeah. I thought so, I would right. so would you be interested to, to fill that? I would, be, I would need a motion to, to somebody would have to. I already uh, said I moved oh, here. Oh, you have an opinion. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll sign it. Sure. Okay, just got sure. me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're sure. Yeah. Uh, so I have a motion by, by Fox. Uh, second by Cruzy. All in favor? Aye. 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 You just need to give me the information on the bond that I have to get. I'm sure you don't have it. Like you no, I don't have yeah. it. Yeah. Um, did you pick a two, three, or four year yet? Two. Four? Two? Really? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> four. Don't do it again. Say, say. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Stop over your head here. <laughs> All right, that, that should be the end of old business. Thanks, Mark. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, on to new business. Um, I wanted. I, I didn't have much of a chance to talk to anybody ahead of time. I don't. I'm gonna actually get email addresses and phone numbers from everybody on the board. But one of the things I wanted to discuss was the website slash Facebook creation slash Google Drive. And for those who aren't familiar with what Google Drive is, it's just an online storage spot similar to uh, Dropbox. It's a, it's a cloud-based storage. And my thought behind that was we could store documents that we would need or, like I've got some documents here that are 50 pages. I, print, I didn't want to print, um, <laughs> print a copy for everybody times 12 because they, that eats up a lot of resources and I'm, I'm pocketing you know, it. This is on my pocket right now. I've right? done it all over our shop. Um, so my, my suggestion is we put it online, save a few trees, and it's accessible to everybody. Uh, Google for, Drive is awesome. Yeah, Google Drive is very helpful and good and cheap. Like it free. is. You know, the price is right. Yeah. And it's now, easy do we have to put something? Do you have to install something on your computer? You can just yeah. Go, but you don't have to. Well, so it's we just this little download thing that's right on your computer where you just yeah. click Google Drive, download. And it will look exactly like opening up any folder. It'll say Google Drive and just pop right open. Yeah. No. And we can take and, and share that amongst ourselves. Um, I don't think that's really for public consumption necessarily, but, but more like a copy of the board packets would be on there. It's a storage place where we can share documents. And then, then we can share documents via a, a, the reason I have a website on there is documents we do decide to share we want to do on the website or some other method. Um, and you can control the permissions. Like Corey could just share something with us so we can view it, or he could, if it's something he wants our comments on, he could make it um, we can comment on it, and then we can put like these little sticky notes, you know, we, where we type, mm -hmm. and then it's it's there, and it says who's commented, and and it's I use it with my students a lot. It's really easy. Um, it's secure. Sounds, yeah, yeah it sounds and good. And if good. anybody has any issues setting up, I'd be happy to help anybody. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't use Google Drive on my phone, but is, is there an app for it? Do you know, Miss? There's an app for Google Drive. I, I was, I'm not sure. I didn't, I wouldn't use that because I never used it. I wouldn't Google recommend it. Yeah. I, like the apps, all, um, I use that. Dropbox. Yeah. I didn't, when, when you sent me the email, the test email, it just popped up and I was able to, to go in and set up my account and whatever. I didn't like go in and mess with it at all and I didn't see an app. I didn't put I just an app on it. So I didn't know how that would work. So, you know, I, I guess I, I want to make sure it's okay with everybody before we proceed and just go ahead and set something up, you know, I, that it'd be okay to do this with, with the entire board. I don't want to make decisions necessarily without an okay. Um, I would be okay with setting it up myself and just helping anybody that needs, you know, sending out the, the invites and, and helping anybody that needed it to get it That's set up. All right. Would you like to do a little, like, 
have our own little Google email addresses that are part of this entity? That, well, and that's, that's part of the website thing. That's something that we, we should probably discuss. Um, I wouldn't yep. necessarily use a Google web, a Google email address. I don't want DDA at gmail.com or whatever. I would want to do instead of some, some sort of some sort of DDA email addresses because any email that you send that has to do with business right, is foilable, cool. and, and I don't want. That. I personally am a big privacy advocate, so I don't want my stuff foilable. Right. Keep in mind that the entire Google Drive will be foilable. Yes. So it has to be set up under. What is that? Like foilable. Yeah. FOIA. Freedom of Information Act. F O I A Freedom of Information Act allows people to get. Anytime you do conduct official business with the DEDA, uh, anyone can request that information. And, and you have documents. But it's not it. that they can like go into your account and look at your stuff. It's like they can request that information and then you have to download the emails and hand it over. This um, can include personal emails used for business. DDA so, business. And so that's why I would think it would be a good idea to just yeah, have a separate DDA. Just do DDA, just just a DDA and it's all simple and right. you don't have to worry about accidentally putting something in there right. that you don't want. Right. Well, and, and that also, I guess you're right, that we should set up the actual Gmail, the Google account as its own for the DDA. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and would that be something like if there was another chairperson down the road? The chairman or Username chairman. and password we could yeah. store that would That would then go on to them. Yeah. yeah. And just get passed on. Okay. Now the, the other question becomes if we correspond back and forth. Let's say I correspond with Randy and say, hey, we want to, you know, do X Y Z and read an email. That becomes foilable. And I, I again, I don't want my personal documents or my business documents included in that. So Correct. I wonder about setting this up separate emails, mm -hmm. email addresses just for the, just for the DDA. I think that's yes. a given. Yeah, okay. okay. And so that, that's that's what I would suggest. And then would those get terminated as that individual comes off the board? The, yeah. There's probably a retention schedule that would have to be, be be set. You can't just, you know, you can delete something like a quick question back and forth. I think you can delete those. Um, if there's a question about a meeting that's coming up, I think you have to wait until after the meeting, from what I understand. And then there's probably some other rules in there that we have to look at a little bit closer. Okay. So that kind of stuff's recorded, but like if you called me and we talk on the phone, that's not recorded. No, exactly. Or if we go face to face. Right. And as long as we're not meeting in, a, in a, a greater than a majority, that's okay. As long as we don't have a quarrel. Okay. Six of you can't get together and have a party. They should also get together and have a party. They just, just can't, can't discuss business. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what I'm looking for, I don't know if we need a, a, a real yeah, motion. Yeah, I think we need to have a motion. You want to have a motion to, to create a Google Drive yeah. and set up emails? And to set up uh, emails that pertain to the DDA. Okay. Well, before we do that, should we discuss the website? Now, I, I think it might be jumping the gun a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we the website. The but the, the problem I have is that well, well, what we can do is purchase a domain name, 10 bucks. I'll buy the domain name. I'll buy it and give it to the DDA. We can take those. We can take, yeah, $2 a piece. Um, <laughs> well, why not just have it be a, a, a section of the village, like the Planning Commission or Thurston Park or something? Why not? I, I don't, well, if, if we're going to have individual want to communicate back and forth as business owners, I don't want to do it necessarily with the villages at essentially like mi.org, maybe. Maybe we want to do something that says downtowncl.com or I mean, that's that's the direction I want to head. I don't want to pigeonhole us into one domain necessarily. Can, can I say something? Mm -hmm. Instead of us, why don't we check into what other DDAs do in, in regards to all this? Because the, they've already... That's true. And they've they already not. invented the will. And then we can... If it looks like that... Well, I we'll happen to... Like the village of Dundee, their, all their DDA stuff is all on the village site. They don't have a separate DDA place. All the Boyne village City stuff is in one place. But Boyne City does. Boyne City has their own well, DDA website. Right so does, and... um, I believe, Alpha Rapids. So does, uh, there's a couple others out there that do. I think, I, but I think what you mentioned right at the beginning is really smart. That, um, like, wait until we get going. Um, because, you know, when we've got a good plan and we need a lot of support and different things like that, 
that would be the time to put it out there mm -hmm. um, when we've got something to report. But I think maybe were you like looking at just reserving a dorm? dorm well, room if we're going to create an email to... address, if we're going to create oh. email addresses for the board to be able to use to be able to contact each other, mm -hmm. I would want those to be at a certain domain. I wouldn't want it to be necessarily at Central Lake MIA, or I would want them to be at you know Central Lake DDA dot com or dot org or whatever we just or downtown cl dot org or wh whatever we decided to, to proceed with I, I don't want to start out early on saying these are our email addresses and then two years down the road or a year down the road well actually these are our email addresses it's not difficult to set up forwards but it's confusing to people so that's let's make it easy like CLDA or something to well and that's something i can even come back with yeah let's let's do a little research on yeah, yeah. all right well then let's for right now let's um and then the Facebook page creation is the other item. Okay. Can we wait on that as well? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to discuss it and, and see Well, what instead of you taking on something, maybe one of us chair people should do the evaluate one other, like Wayne City, what was the other one? Well, um, everybody can take a peek and look around and see yeah. what you can find. And then we... That's our homework. Have, Homework. Okay. Homework there you go. Next time. Yeah, let's okay. check it out and see what they do. I guess I, I then I would say let's... Um, Let's go into Google Drive and then mm -hmm. proceed with that. Mm -hmm. um, probably do a motion if anybody wants to. I think that would be Okay. Mm -hmm. I move that we establish a Google group within which we can email each other regarding DDA items, getting this, and also store documents. Utilizing Google Drive. Utilizing Google Drive. Period. Do I have a second? Second that? You say what? What was that? Was that? <laughs> Can you read that back? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to table the website yeah. and the Facebook. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right. We, we, we had a vote on it, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> All in favor, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, discussion? Uh, I think what we about email? Discussion. What did we decide with the emails? The emails are, are on we're hold right now. Table that for right now too? Gonna be, yes. We're going to table that until the next month. Okay, so the Google Drive is going to be set up with personal emails instead of DDA emails? The invites will. Okay. I have to look at how, the, how Google Drive works because it might work different than Dropbox. Because the, really, the invite will go out and then you'll have a username and password to log in, but nothing will be sent over email other than that invite. So we'll have little Google email addresses just for DDA stuff. You will have, I, I will email out to you personally just the invitation. For, well, and I don't know if that, I'm sure that people have, but that, I can email that invitation to your personal account and then you use, how would that work? You would use that, your existing when email you, address to log in, but nothing actually goes through the email system other than that original invite. Well, then what happens when we have DDA emails, we have to go through and set it all up again? Thank you, right? Well, you're not going to set up DDA emails, I understand. You're just creating a Google Drive and you're sending people an invitation. There are no emails being set no, up. No, it's just a spot for documents. No, but this after you, when you, get, when you get the invitation, though, Ken, you have to log in with your... Okay. Email. Or you can just get the thing set up and the next time they meet, it's yeah. like, okay, everybody, let's get your emails going. It doesn't have to be an invite. It can just be just do it, get it ready, well, I, put I, stuff in there, whatever you want. So I would like to have it set up for the next meeting. Right. That's exactly. the reason. But, and I want everybody to be able to access it by the next meeting. Right. So that we, if, when these documents that I'll put out there. Well, we can access it through our own personal emails, though. It won't be going via email. You have to log in. But if you set it up right now and put things in it, the only way we can look in it was by our personal yeah, email. Yeah, personal. No, so log in with right. your email address. It's a login, but it's not. If nothing's going over the email system, nothing relays over SMTP. It is strictly a login that is used for login. It's my identifier. Right. My suggestion might be that possibly, because I know our school uses Google, and we've still got you know I'm on Fox at elsworth.k12. But it, it's Google. Um, and I don't know, you know, what that what that requires, but I would suggest if we're going to keep our personal stuff separate from our business stuff and protect privacy and all that kind of stuff, that that each of us establishes a Google account that's just for DDA. 
that um, and you know we I think we can set up I think we can set them up by hand. It's not that difficult. And then just say, okay, your Bart Patton at D, you know Bart Patton DDA at Google. You're almost making it harder than you need oh, to. That's why I do just, just create one Hotmail account, give everybody the login and password, and there you go. And you just all log in into the same one until you get your regular one. Everybody use that. That's actually a good idea, too. It doesn't matter. You want to do with the old one. Yeah. You should have to the village. The village comes with a lot of We all, all trustees, have a login. So yeah. like everybody can see the emails. Okay. I take it works better because if I see one in there that Joel should be looking at and has it, I can send Joel a reminder there's one in there because there's days go by and people aren't going to look. You know what I mean? So yeah. For me, I think it works better. Um, and maybe, maybe that would work well. We'll set up the we'll yeah. Google account. Can two people just look at the same time? Yeah. Like if yep. you're looking, can you look, can you look all? Yeah, it so comes up like if you're looking at a document and it's kind of neat because the, a little thing comes up and there's an initial. That's where it's the first name of whoever is logged in. And so when my students and I are all looking at something, I can see who else is there at the same time. And either, you yeah, know, that's a cool idea. Yeah, that's really, yeah. but it's through Google. Yeah. Well, I can look into that then. I, look, let's, um... I mean, you can fine tune this a lot later, guys. You're going to find other things that are better. You know, so just get yourself moving with a simple one right now. Okay. Well, let's, let's go ahead and do that then. We'll set it up simply. Maybe we'll just share a username and password. Sounds cool. Let's, so, yeah. let's, let's go ahead and, and vote and uh, take a motion to, well, I think you said Google Yeah, group. I did it. Anyway, I have a second by Reese on that. Mm -hmm. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And Corey, what you say? You can call everybody and say, hey, this is a lot of my password. Yeah, I know. That's easy enough to do. Um, I have on here a proven application for the Main Street program visit from Main Street Center, and it's Actually, we've, it's something I'd like to discuss more than anything. Um, I contacted a group by the name of Michigan Main Street Center. Um, if you follow the uh, you look on Northern Lakes Economic Alliance's website under their DDA, it's, it's one of the groups that they, they list on there. And I was trying to understand a little bit more about what they did, and I, I called to talk to them. They actually help with the creation of a downtown development plan. There's somebody that can help to hold our hand. They've got a four-step method that helps, it follows along the DDA guidelines, but they're, they're kind of their own special thing inside of that. Um, they have a four-point approach to design, economic restructuring, promotion, and organization um, for developing and growing a downtown area. Um, they have a particular program that there's no cost to that they talked to me a little bit about uh, becoming a part of the program. The only stipulation is the deadline is November 1st. Since we're getting in on this late, we don't have a whole lot of time for discussion in regards to this. Um, you'll see in your packets, we have the, one of the items that are in there is a Main Street benefits, benefits of Main Street. Um, on here, and it lists. A lot of the, the benefits, this is all they had time to send me today. I literally just talked to them this morning. And while I was looking for um, best practices to develop our DDA plan, and she is willing to come and meet with us um, at our next meeting or beforehand, if we want to call it a special meeting, to discuss their approach to uh, their, their revitalization effort. For, for their, their downtown area. Um, they, their objective is to support and improve Michigan's downtowns and traditional commercial neighborhood districts. They employ a four-point approach. That's a community-driven comprehensive strategy that encourages economic development through historic preservation. I do have a annual report of theirs. Again, this was like I don't know, 20 pages, and I really didn't want to print 20 times 12. Um, something I'd love to be able to share via Google we'll Drive. And I'll hand this out for you guys to take a look at it. And what it lists on here are the different cities that they've helped, including Boeing City um, and, and other, other cities that um, it shows their particular uh, Nessie, growth. I made a copy of all those for you, for yourself. Oh, yes, I do. I will give them to you. Yeah, 
Second. And the initial, you know, it's, it's difficult to explain exactly what they do, but basically you're accepted into their, their base level of the program. And then uh, they help you learn and they teach you how basically to set up your committees and to set up your, uh, your strategy over the next year or up to three years. And then you apply it to the next level. And the next level, they help with the technical expertise, such as um, grant writing, or who to get grants from, or um, the, the, the renderings of drawings of it, or maybe we're doing a facade improvement. And so we'll need that rendering for grants. So the, they, they help us with the technical aspects of that and the next phase of that. And then the third and final phase of the Main Street program is we graduate to another level that allows us to help others get to where we're at. Hopefully we're doing really well by then. Uh, they'd like us to employ full-time what they call a main street manager, which I'm not entirely sure how that works. And, and I'll be honest with you, I want to find out more about it. Probably um, like a DDA director. Yes, exactly. Well, and I think the DDA director can be a main street manager as well. Mm -hmm. um, and Actually, I think it's a no. It's a no? Because your, your main street area is going to be a different area than your DDA. Some towns are bigger than Central Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. Yeah. Main no street. way. The way I understand the Main Street program is only going to be your very traditional downtown town, which our DDA extends all further than a traditional downtown area. No. So I think they're saying that it should be. Should be. I'm not saying it could. Right. I think they suggested it's two different. Yeah. Yeah. But those are questions they can answer. Yeah. So. Randy looks like he has questions. Right? The lady that did the introduction of the DDA, I can't remember her name. Sarah Fisher. Sarah, Sarah Fisher? Christensen. Christian Fisher? Christensen. Christensen. Yeah. Uh, it sounded like a lot of this stuff is some of the things that she well, could do. I did talk to Sarah Christensen. She did send me a list, you know, looking, I was looking for more of a framework to work with him, other, you know, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. We, other right. communities have done that. Um, so when I was looking at that, I did talk to her. I sent her an email. She suggested some starting points. And she's really good at the technical aspects of a lot of that, I believe. This is a slightly different approach to it, and that's what these people do. Um, I don't know if you've been to Boyne City recently. Boyne, yeah. Boyne City in the last I don't know, 10, 15 years is completely different than what it used to be. And they actually follow this particular approach. They've been able to revamp their buildings and, and revitalize their downtown. Did Sarah have comments about these guys? Or did I, she recommend I talked them, to her or before I talked to them. This is on the Northern Lakes Economic Alliance's website. So that's that's where I got this information. Um, so this is a resource, obviously, that they would recommend yes. because it's part of their, Do it. Part of their area. How much does it cost? That's the thing. The, there is no cost to us. <laughs> okay. So our treasure, because I don't want to overtax our treasure. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. if we decide, see, we have to apply to each level. So it's not like right. we automatically bumped up into another level. Right. And the and I would, I would like to have them here to talk more about it. But what I would like to do is I'd like permission and maybe some assistance with setting up and, and getting the application going so we can have it submitted before November 1st. So that we at least they have a good way of, of helping and holding our hand and, ha and having uh, somebody from this organization here at the next meeting and, and to be able to talk more about it because our next meeting I believe is November sixth. Sounds about right. Yeah. How um, how lengthy is the application? It's about eight pages. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more, but there's a lot of work involved with it. it there's you know include a table of contents, follow the original format. So it's kind of like a grant application. Um, it, it is in a way, but it's it's stuff like please list the primary contact, name of the county, describe the history oh, yeah, of the district. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it gets into some stuff where you want some pictures, 12 to 20 pictures, and they want them eight and a half by 11. But, not, yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot, and they Can want six copies of the whole thing. 28 days? If we don't, then we've got it for next year. You know, I, 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 I was created like in seven. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't go out and make the application. <laughs> I would okay. like to think with, with the appropriate help, we can pick this up a week and a half or so. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of work. Uh, I won't lie. It's 28 days, and, and we, if we don't make the deadline, then nothing, nothing lost. We're, we're on. We're waiting until next year. I would like to apply to the program to at least 
give us the opportunity to work within that framework if we so choose to going forward. Let's go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Something's got a lot of upside. Obviously, the cost. And call Sarah up and say, Sarah, we need help getting this application. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. That's yeah. what they do. Right. See, she will be more than a lot of help. Boynton City is probably a lot of. You go to Boynton City, they they love that program. They follow it. It works. They Boynton they City they told it up every time you talk to them. Yeah. So you're making a recommendation that we have Sarah help fill that out. I, I would call her and, and well, let's get them. That's what they're there for. We don't need to reinvent that wheel either. We just okay. say, call Sarah, she will direct us to really good resources. Do we have to pay Sarah to help us no. on that? No. No, that's part of We're a member of Northern is. Lakes, so. That's part of the village umbrella. And as you're a member. It's a good okay. place to be. Yeah. That's a good place to be. Yeah, but I would, I would so call it's a large. So we have a resource to make it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I really so think that. So we need to make an amendment. Oh, somebody, somebody needs to make a motion. I, I guess what we would need is a motion to. To uh, give you, like, to uh, you can move to Approve. have the director, you, or whatever you are. Chairman, proceed with the application Pers process. Yeah, proceed with the application process. Does anybody want to assist? I nominate Lisa to help you. Missy would be good at assisting with this kind of thing. You've well, done well, it's like until three next week. I don't think. Well, I'll just say this. I don't think you have to be a member of the board to help the board. No. Yeah, I, I yeah, mean, I, I, I just we want to vote on. I think he can. And honestly, Any assistance you want. Yeah, you, you, you take, you've got a nice camera, take so the pictures, that right kind of thing. Yeah, right. so we're we're going to need 12 to 20, assistant. and I don't want you printing out with your own ink. I think send out like Snapfish or something and, and get some. Well, so they need to be eight and a half by 11. Oh, I'll just do it at Jerks. It'll be nice. <laughs> okay. well, 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 we'll get with you. Leave me your phone number so that I can get a hold of you. Okay, but I don't think we paid a motion yet. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank you, Randy. Perhaps you would like to make that motion, sir. Okay. I'm ready to second it. As long as I like it. I make a motion that we apply um, an application for the Main Street program with help with Sarah. Christensen. 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 And other resources. And other resources. And this responsibility is to fall to the chairperson <laughs> and assistance <laughs> by Brian. Yep. And Melissa. And Melissa. And Melissa. Okay. okay so I'll, we have three people. I'll, I'll second that. I'll second that. Did I get to I tried to. No, that's fine. You're good. All in favor? Aye. Well, we didn't have a second. Aye. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I second it. I'm so excited on your long second. I know. You repeat that. You can repeat that. I'm going to move forward. That's where recording is at. Nice. Okay. Well, wait. That's good. Okay. 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 So the next, the next thing on the agenda is Michigan Redevelopment Ready Communities Program. And I'll be honest with you, this is another program that is on the Northern Lakes Economic Alliance, and I did not have a ton of time to read over it, but I wanted to point it out to the board so that you could at least review it on their website or Google Docs. It's another one of those that is 25 pages, and I'll pass that around. You're going to have that on the docs. I'll put that on Google Docs. I just wanted to bring it up so that we could review that. I'm not sure it applies in our situation. I'm not sure that... It is something we'd even want to do, but it's something I want to put out there as I'm finding resources I want to bring to the board's attention that these are these are things the tools that we can use to to do what we want you know, to, to redevelop downtown Central Lake. Are we legally allowed to visit another DEA? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, and you like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Even okay. And I'll actually under the next one I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, this redevelopment. Communities program might be more for blighted areas or, or other things. There's, there's a lot to it, um, and I just kind of want to put that out there for review for everybody. And I'll, that'll go on the Google Drive as well. And if you want to see it before then, it's on the Northern Lakes Economic Alliance's website, northernlakes.org or .com. I can't remember. Probably org if it's government. Uh, I don't know. It might be com. It's Northern Lakes. Not something. And under their DDA section, that this, the two programs they list are the Main Streets program and this. And then there's lots more besides this. This is just a starting point 
and I, I wanted to bring it to a recent Dot net. net. Dot net. net. That makes so, that sounds right. Mm -hmm. um, we should probably consult with them, Miss mm -hmm. Sarah, and make sure that without, I mean, because my, my understanding was when we establish ourselves, our first step is we have to have a plan because mm -hmm. that plan is going to allow us to get grants. And um, I'm sure that applying to the Main Street program is, is cool. I just hope that we don't have to have a plan in place first. I don't want to. No, for that particular program, they, when I spoke with the, uh, I believe her name is Jessica, mm -hmm. I don't remember her last mm -hmm. um, this morning. You know, they will actually assist us in helping with our, our okay. EDA plan. Okay. Um, okay. But again, their focus is the downtown area. Right. And so I don't know how that's going to apply in this particular situation. They, She's willing to come up and talk to us about it and discuss mm -hmm. what they can do for us. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I will, and it, I guess I, it's more discussion about the previous one, but I can talk to her and, and see if she's willing to do that and set a date at the next meeting if everybody would experience with that. I don't know if there's a motion to have a guess. Is that usually the case? No, it's put on the agenda. Just, I'll just I'll add that to the agenda. Mm -hmm. um, to talk to us about the Main Street program. About the Main Street program. Yeah. Now, Sarah Christensen, in regards to this this other program, I uh, did not have much time to research it. I just right. wanted to put it out there. So yeah. if anybody would like to contact her directly, I'm sure that's fine. But if you like me to, I can as well. Or uh, It's best, I think, that you're the communicator with that's fine. I, I have no problem doing that, making a phone call. It takes a yeah. few minutes. And I think we better just do one thing. Right. You know, yes. right. This Main Street program is pretty, it's a pretty endeavor yeah. item, so you don't want to get too much on your plate at one time. Yes. Yeah, let's start, with those, start, with start, start small and work our way up. And I, I don't know that it's even something that we ever want to do. I just want to show you my resources where we found them. Um, I would just let you call some town we've done it for a long time. Maybe somebody from there will come and yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I mean, it's a good program, but of course, yeah. it's a I, I, I know this big picture of what we're getting into, but how we get there, I don't know. So yeah. mm -hmm. If one of these people was willing to come and tell us how it worked for them, mm -hmm. it might be a, might be a great starting point for us. Because Boyne City is the poster child, right? Oh, they are. Well, absolutely. So yeah. I bet you somebody would love to come. That's beautiful. Believe me, they, they would love to come. They'll bring their video. And, they the city clubs. <laughs> they, and I don't blame them. They're not showing off Boyne City, what they've accomplished. It's a real problem. Well, and that's a good call. would be more than happy to come over and share Boyne City with us. And that'd be kind of fun to, I mean, to open to the public to check it out. You know, like, that, I don't know. Well, I'm sure that they, well, I don't know if they have it online, but if it's a video, they, they very well made. Um, and we can, uh, we've got access to a projector somewhere. I'm not sure if you guys do. I know I could. Yeah, we can throw yeah, something. If they want to, but I would, I would encourage you to call one and see if they're willing to come over. I can do that. That's not a problem. Yeah. I'll talk to them about that. But in the meantime, I'm still going to work on the application. And we'll go ahead and get that one. Um, all right, so we've talked about the Michigan Redevelopment Ready Communities Program. Um, I, I just want to spend, the, the next thing is I want to spend a couple a couple minutes discussing ideas for growth opportunities in the next year, marketing events. Um, I, I don't really want to have the discussion that, hey, we should do X, Y, and Z right now, but I want to put it out there for the next meeting that we, we have some ideas to discuss the growth, growth percentual aid opportunities that us as a DDA can take advantage of and marketing events that we can assist with and create and move forward with. Uh, the DDA has the ability to do a couple different things. Actually, I've got the law here somewhere. Only one law. What's that? Uh, which stack is it in? So the board for DDA has the ability to prepare an analysis of economic changes taking place in the downtown district, study and analyze the impact of metropolitan growth on a downtown district, plan and propose construction, renovation, repair, remodeling, rehabilitation, restoration, preservation, reconstruction of a public facility or an existing building or a multiple family dwelling unit. Um, in, in the which may be necessary or appropriate in the execution to the execution of a plan which in the opinion of the board aids in the economic growth of the downtown district. I'm not going to read the entire law, but it gets into uh, making plans, entering into contracts, purchasing equipment or uh, buildings, 
fixed charge, collect fees, rent charges for use of building, accept grants or donations, um, just on and on. And one of the things that it can do, looking for it says specifically, create operate fund marketing initiatives that benefit only the retail, only retail and general marketing of the downtown district. So we can create events that do that, maybe in association with the chamber, maybe, you know, I, I don't know, but that's one of the items that we can do. Um, I would like to see us talk about that. I'd like to see us talk about. Um, oh, just on that topic there, um, the idea of you know maybe here November, December, um, kind of talking about ideas, what knowing what all we could do, and then talking about some you know tossing around three or five ideas to put in place maybe by you know by spring or something to start marketing yes. for summer. Yes, I agree. I, I think I don't think anything we can do is going to be near term. Hey, there's no budget, and I don't think there's going to be any, any budget for a while. Um, but stuff that we can do that's free or low cost. Right. Um, short term, you know, and, and maybe do some sort of fundraising. I mean, there's, there's, we have that ability. We can't do that. Right. Um, so we talk about that over the next couple months, bringing ideas and, and checking stuff out. And once we get, you know, obviously the initial meeting, couple meetings out of the way. and Right. I, start, and so I, I, the, the idea behind bringing this up at this meeting was to to start that thought cycle, to, to get people in that frame of mind so that when we do sit down and think about it, I'd, I'd like to send homework home with everybody just saying, you know, let's come up with ideas, come up with 10 ideas a piece and, and let's let's create something. And maybe if, if an idea is too small or, or there's nothing stupid, you know, we just have to figure out if maybe a couple ideas can be combined and maybe, you know, there's all these different things that could happen. Uh, and I, I'm looking more for stuff that costs little or no money, that we can quickly have some sort of turnaround on. Um, what that is, I don't know exactly. How do you take what we're proposing, let's say there's 10 businesses, mm -hmm. and eight of us, eight businesses are excited about doing this DDA. The other two businesses are sitting there saying, it's not broke, it's what we've been doing for 30 years, leave it alone, or 100 years, whatever. So you've got those two, uh, we'll call them spokes of a wheel, that aren't willing to be on part of the wheel. So it isn't going to roll over. Really well. And I'm sure that's occurred in other communities. I mean, because we can't force this down the throat of everybody. Yeah, the wheel rolls right over them. <laughs> well, to put it bluntly, it does. I, it's sad to say you guys. We, we have to be really people. careful that we're doing something for the good of the entire community. There you go. And, and, it, and it's hard to get how it's that, what's that yeah. saying? Uh, you can please some of the people some of the time, you can't please all the people all the time. That's, that's and so that's one of the tricky things that I see about moving this forward. And of course, in a lot of sense, and me included, so I'll just say myself, I'm always, I don't have a lot of money. I'm hoping that this is beneficial in what we've discussed on making my physical building get better, mm -hmm. as well as my business, mm -hmm. and growth within the community. But it, when you start talking about the pocketbook, anybody's pocketbook, you yeah. know, yeah. that door gets shut really fast. So. so I think we should knock on that door for a while. Yes, <laughs> I agree now. I think but. we have to do some proving of this before that's what I was my next step. So you were fast on that. Well, and you also have to think into the future. I mean, I'm not saying that anything we do is going to even be doable by next summer. I, you know, we, we may be looking two years out. I, I want to I want to look just at ideas, the bigger picture, what we what we can as a community do to to and it doesn't have to be an event or anything like that. It could be assisting with an event. It could be, it could be helping gather volunteers. It could be something as simple as businesses who were interested kicking in a few bucks to do a, a billboard for Central Lake somewhere, you exactly. know. Yeah, Mr. Kenyon said last week when we were talking and, and he was like, well, what about an ice skating rink? The, you know, the, you, there's ways we could do that at a lower no cost comes with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I don't know if we can do it within the downtown district, it, but I don't even know if it has to be located in the downtown district if it's a marketing event for the downtown. I, I don't know. Um, and that's something yeah. we determine those ideas flow. But, but just to generate those ideas and even if it boils down to oh, we help um, we help somebody clean up a lot I mean I, I I'm it's all about the downtown area and, and improving it and any, any ideas we can generate that are near-term no cost 
short term low cost, and then I'll, we look at a bigger picture for you know 20 years out. You know, we've got a nice, beautiful buildings downtown that have been restored and, and whatever. I mean, so there's there's a we, we have to start somewhere. Real quick on your, we kind of talking about, or kind of getting the idea of maybe like, I don't know, like businesses have to put in money for it, or because I think like most of like Medina once it's kind of rolling and funding, it tries to do its own, you know, funding to keep itself going, so to speak. So business owners, just because you're a part of it, don't have to like pocket or right. pull money out. Well, we'll be able to capture some tax. Yeah, well, yeah, instead we'll of having that to be more self-sustaining, but. I don't want you to, I mean, I don't think you, you guys really have to put all the stuff out of your own pocket to start. All right. And, well, and then there's the other businesses, too. I understand what you're saying with that. Because you've got people that are just going to be like, oh, have fun. And the way back is you're, you know, working hard. And it's, right. it just is what it is. That's the way it is. Um, yeah. You're never going to have 100% participation. And then sometimes the participation so gets not what you want. It, it, you just, it's hard. So, you know, but there's other ways to, you know, if we can't get everybody on board, there's, you know, we can try. Um, we can also you know, help out the chamber, maybe recruit volunteers, maybe, I mean, I don't know. I want, I'm looking for ideas. I'm looking for, for thoughts. Well, I, and, I don't think it's doable this year, but I can definitely see some kind of like booth next year on window night. Yeah. Introduction, hey, donuts, or yeah. whatever everybody's having donuts, sign around. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll better ones. Better ones, bigger ones. Yeah. 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 We'll, have bigger we'll do ones. snow cones. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it for you. <laughs> so I mean, so that, that's that's what I wanted to put out there, and it doesn't like I said, it doesn't have to be an event. It can be as simple as cleaning up a particular lot or uh, recruiting volunteers. I, I just I want some uh, some way to make the downtown better in the near term with no cost. We did. Um, we went down for um, the Colin Powell Center in Twin Cities in Minnesota. And they had this walkway that was all garbaged up. So we worked for a full week. I took a youth group and cleaning up this that became a skate park. We also uh, were doing a fundraiser for the Colin Powell Center. And so it was a win-win. So, I mean, as soon as you start picking up and cleaning up, yeah. you know, and then the next week another church group took right over at the baton type of thing. And, and a place that was dangerous, before and homeless people were at, all of a sudden it was beautiful. No, I'm not using the right word. Look great. <laughs> and publicly was being used all of a sudden. You know, people were skating by and riding bicycles and walking. And as soon as it was nice looking. And yep, trees were, we planted trees. And well, I, I look at our downtown district as kind of like our, our face of our village. I mean, it really is the front. What people see when they drive through Central Lake and what they think of, they don't think of the street I live on. Well, maybe some of them do. But they think of the, the actual place they drive to. And so I mean I, I would want to see that as quickly as possible. Anything we can do in that area. You know, maybe we help Mr. Chapman paint his garage or I, I mean I, I don't know. I am looking for ideas and yeah, you know just that. just kind of to start start off the discussion on that. <laughs> start yeah. Call the guy out. <laughs> I wasn't trying to call him out necessarily. I, I'm just saying uh, you know, you're, there, there's there's areas. Okay, oh, Mission Computers. Maybe paint the paint the front of Mission Computers. <laughs> you're you're safe, Corey. He don't own the building. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Who said that? I did. I own that building. On oh, Mission Computers one. Mission Which one? Yeah. No, no I was talking, talking about, about I was talking about Chapman. I don't know. Right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> now you're with them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, anybody have any question or comment in regards to that? No, we've got enough homework. Okay, well, we're going to, I'm not trying to pile it on, but oh, it seemed to happen are. to me when I was in grade school right, a lot, uh, maybe, especially okay. English. Maybe so. <laughs> um, Major Tucker. I, I think over the course of the winter, everybody should read on what a tip is. It yeah, won't we'll generate money that. for a while. It's it's it's, a, it's going to be quite a bit of work to set it up, but I don't think there's a better time to set it up right, right now. I've not been looking at. Yeah, what it takes I just say I'm not, I'm not going to do it a month or two, but everybody should look at it. Do I have a right to think that we have to have a plan before we can create a tip? No, yeah. you, have, you have to have a plan for the tip. You don't have to have a plan for a DDA. You have to have a plan right. for a tip. You it's all spelled out in there. 
Oh, so and, and I think work. we all need to understand it That's because what we're going to be talking to people yeah. about it, and if we don't understand it, they're not going to understand right. it. Right. So we need, we need to really do. That's why we said over the winter. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, something. Lot, well, lots more. Way to bring the Sarah back because Bart and maybe some others didn't get to see that first meeting, so. It was an informative part. Yeah. In those dead times in your office, you can just Google it a lot. You know, and <laughs> kick back and feet Yeah, up. I have some more time. I'm looking at how to sell bonds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're doing that, <laughs> if you got an old fishing wheel, this or fishing rod reel, this guy's fast. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I think we should look at is, is if everybody's happy with the present DEA boundaries or not. I think we should do that. So I want to look at the ramifications of changing those if there are any. There may not be, but that's something maybe well, a question. Sarah didn't yeah, sound like it was going to be a real easy thing when we asked her at the chamber meeting. She wasn't like, yeah, let's well, do it. Well, what, what will happen for sure is, like I, I know, I know I'd like to include two more places in the DDA. Mm -hmm. the, when you set up a TIF plan, we, the county will not release any new areas. The mm -hmm. county's answer is no. 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 But I just think it's important to make them. I, I, I'll tell you the two. I'm thinking going one more block this way. Not even a whole block, but Mortensons and what I, I, the Masons. The Masons. Yeah, 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 are, yeah. When I look downtown, those are part of our downtown. Yeah. To me, that's where downtown kind of stops. They're yep. within the streetscape yep. project. Yep. So in my mind, those two, I think, if we're going to want them to participate in the DDA and be part of it, they, they should be part of that district. Who established these borders? That was done by whatever board back in '90. So I couldn't even I couldn't even speak for why they did what they did. And I'm sure they I, had a reason. I'm not sure they did. Actually, if you look at it, I don't <laughs> think it's bad. I mean, to me, no, I, I just wish it extended out to include those two. Right. And the only reason for doing that would maybe to be included, so they were included in grants and other things so that we had done in, that, in, in those areas. Well, also well they're part of the downtown. They, they, to me, they, they look like that's for downtown. They're not releasing more taxes. But, but see, you know, if we, if we, if we change the boundaries before we do a plan and before we do a TIF and all that kind of stuff, do we still need, I mean, would we still be able to capture the, no. So, the, the, so the that's village will vote whether they want to or not. From what I was told from, from Northern Lakes Economic Alliance is that Antrox County's answer up to date has been no. They opt out every time on letting you recapture the taxes. Because they want to keep that up. Right, right now you're locked in because it was established before they had that option to opt yeah. out. And that's where I would question, if you re-establish your boundaries, does that mean no, that it, they... It says it in there, absolutely. When you re-establish it, they get the opportunity to opt Wait, out. Is that on all all any, of the properties or no, only no. the new properties? Just the new property. Okay. Just the new property. Okay. 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 So okay. So the, the people are collecting the taxes. Like you would, you would capture the additional taxes from the county, the yeah. village, so the library. So it always seems like that when you're suggesting this is the first thing if I'm picking a homework, this is the first thing we really need to do. Is it we need to? I, I, I would think it'd be step one. Step one. That's what we need to redefine. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's something we talk to. Is that something the board can handle internally, or yeah, does that something that has to be submitted to the state of Michigan? I think probably in the end it does. We, we I'm, but I'm just saying I think we can read up and find out those answers quite easily. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll, we'll look into that and see, see what it would take. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if anybody has any ideas now, it would be nice to hear ideas now so we know what we're getting into. I just, I like to hear care for the present rather than table until next month. I think we're kind of the knowledge level of like zero. And so, you know, we're going to be learning a lot. And well, the, particular, the boundaries, I mean, you're talking about any changes to the boundaries. Is there, any else, is there any other changes anybody would like to see, I guess, is what I'm asking. You've heard mine. Residentially on houses that are within these boundaries. <clears throat> Does it propose any kind of threat that somebody is a resident in their home that's going to feel threatened in any way? Only if we made a decision as a board that we had to have that house for, for whatever reasons we could make them an offer on that house. Or we could recommend to the village council. <coughs> the village council make an offer on that house. Um, what, you know, it, it really will depend on whatever plan we have. And I, and I don't see uh, any of us as business owners really wanting to go down that road of. You know, the, the, the houses that are in the DDA district are there. Maybe if one of them came up for sale and was on the market, the downtown yeah, district may want to purchase that. But other than that, there would be no real no plan. Reason. No. no reason. It's kind of like all the state bank bought that house and then mm -hmm. um, that had that control fire 
and now it's a nice clean looking lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that to me was like a win-win community wise. Yeah. Alden State Bank, whether they want to make it into a parking lot or whatever. Right. They mean they got the, the house. So yeah. that would be kind of a good example of us even as a DDA. Yeah. And we, yes. and we we could go to them as that's where our scheme is at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, could, we could look at that and go, okay, Alden State Bank, are you interested in selling this? So maybe they're not for the time being. But we make a plan that goes over twenty years. So in the plan is purchase properties as they become available, then that's what we do. It, you know, if you know, they say, well, yeah, well, we might want to negotiate in a year or two, well, then we approach it at that point. It's the same with the residents. I mean, I, I would think that if a house came up for sale and it was in the downtown actual district and we could, we had it in our plan that as properties came available, we turned them into skate parks or we need parking over here, or we need public restrooms in the downtown area, we need any of that stuff that it's in the plan to purchase properties as they become available. I, I, you know, that's, yeah. that's it, it, pretty simple. There, there wouldn't be anything in there that would be a danger to, okay. you know, it, hey, we're, we're going to take over or anything. It, it, just, it wouldn't make smart business sense and it wouldn't be good for the community. I just, I don't see that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Also, you're total morons. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. I hope it's fine. If that. people feel threatened, there's a few that probably did. You know, but, yes, can the property be taken for public use? Yes, it can but, but it always could be. That's yeah. what I want to say. It all that has always been there. So the DDA didn't reinvent that or do it at any time. The municipality Even could say we're going to take your property. By take, I mean they purchase it. And I think it over market value is the new yeah. rule. But anyway, that's that's been out there for as long as I know. So okay. is the DDA posing any new threat to anybody? Not that I can see. Okay. I, I would like to add that the uh, 1992 DDA. I spoke with one of the board members. And they were interested in eminent domain on two of the houses, the uh, Spence House and the Lighthouse. And they, they didn't even get started with that DDA, so nothing ever came of it. But uh, uh, they were interested in taking over those houses. So to to serve what end? To do uh, what? Part of it was an oh, awful good reason. You have to prove yeah. a yeah. public yeah. Maybe sport to start with. You know, yeah. I'm just saying that the, some of the yeah. residents you have out there right now, there's a little bit of concern out there. So I would make it clear to them that. Yeah, because it's not. Gonna well, yeah, the public, I don't see that. It's not the public library, for example, when was that built? 10, 15 years yeah, ago. Like, what was it before that? That train station. It was where the depot. How can you remember? Yeah, it was yeah, a lot a long time after the depot went. But there was there anything there when they built it? The depot was probably eight years before that. And Argo Lumber used to sit like next door. Yeah, the, 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 depot was, was the depot was burnt down in 82. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so there was nothing there. Yeah. yeah. No wonder we don't remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be kind of an example of what it downtown development uh, do. it's, it's a possibility it's a way of well, and, and the downtown development can take and <coughs> let's say we've got historic buildings down through the main main area we could help apply for grants for those people who own those buildings to revamp those buildings up to fire code up to you know the, the facades even historic uh, homes i would think yeah. i think so homes. anything yeah. that qualifies as historic yeah and, and I mean, you still, it's area. not necessarily just free money, you have to have oh, something, sure. you, know, you know, we need $20,000 and five jobs created, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there, there's stipulations to everything, but I mean, there's, there's that ability, because they're in the downtown district, they may have some special consideration. So, Ken, the only two that you really, that are not on here, that you think should be are the Masons and Martins. And, and, just, and I, I do. And that makes sense. I mean, they were included mm -hmm. in the streetscape. When you stand downtown and walk. Well, yeah, that's, that's downtown, downtown to me. It's to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Any, any other discussion on that? Keep moving along. And I would, before I say this, I would, I would make sure it's said that I, I would, somebody would talk to both of them for <laughs> of their feelings. You know, I don't want people thinking we're just running rank out of so you mm -hmm. said you made a suggestion to somebody to talk to him, so I think that who's going to do it? I think Ken would be a good person for that. I am. I'm out there for that. I'm out there for something. Okay. You guys take care of the tip. Okay. I'll take care of talking to him. Well, I just, we're, we're making no. that suggestion okay. to talk. You're right. Let's clarify who's okay. responsible for that. Okay, I will find out. You don't want six people knocking on Martin's door? Who the? 
Have I think the rest of us, or any of us, can um, discuss it. Albert 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 I should have known it. No, I okay. I saw no, Mr. Martin Kirk. We probably know that. Bill Steinbeck. Yeah. He's amazing. Bill Steinbeck. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will talk to both of them. Yeah, Bill Steinbeck up there too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any any other discussion in regards to growth opportunities, marketing events, DBA areas, homework? Thinking about what would be previous previously said about, you know, we, we don't have everybody on board, and we probably won't be all, always having <coughs> everybody on board. I think it's important, though, to communicate with everybody in the downtown district, whether it's sending a synopsis of this meeting or whatever, and being, you know, really, you know, like, we want to share all this information with you, and if you choose to come to the next meeting, or if you choose to be involved in the future, or some, you know, keep that door open so it's not... Yeah. I think it's a great idea. We're going to discuss committees next, so maybe there's a committee for communication. Isn't it close to 1030? It is. <laughs> We're almost done. Okay. Um, I think it's a great idea. I, I, I really... Keep the money is what you're saying, Michelle. Well, and just keep well, that door open. Well, be proactive open. and let people know so they're not freaked out after the fact. Right. Mm -hmm. well, and so that would include the, the, you know, the residential, you know, because if there's concern, blah, blah, blah. We just want to keep everybody updated and apprised. And, and then if they change their mind and want to start coming to the meeting or do something mm -hmm. else, they've got, you know, we've included yep. them all along. Mm -hmm. You bet. Here, here would be my suggestion, having learned things the hard way, that at some point we put together a letter mm -hmm. and send it to every property owner within the DDA. We're not talking that many. We're talking mm -hmm. yeah. prize a letter. I just, I, you know, I'm not talking about all to a thousand people. Mm -hmm. It's going to be... I don't even know. No, 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 just the only, and just maybe Corey Lee or somebody could work on this. You know, I mean, come up with a decent letter. Just, just like Michelle said, explain who DD has been formed, the board's met, the meeting dates, some of the goals and objectives, and what a DDA has. Maybe give them information on how to go. Tell them we're looking for volunteers. Look at the tip program. I mean, give them, right. give them advice on where to go look. You don't always have to. Right. Spell it out for them, but give them good advice on where to go. Do we want to wait two months before we propose a letter like that? I, I, me, well, I would do it. I would do it. I would do it right it. away. Okay. I really would. Yeah, I would be boundaries. willing to work. But those are there, there right now. now. I would set out what's there right now. We can, you know, we can include that map in it. Yeah. Because those are the DDA boundaries as of now. I, I, the sooner the letter, the better. Randy said I'm not the best at structuring a letter, but I'd be glad to help. Somebody wants to come alongside me. Yeah. Because you're not going to like the way I spell it. <laughs> <laughs> spell check. Okay. Oh, Miss Becky, good job. <laughs> She's going to be all done. Hey, could you please tell me it was mine? You sent the letter. <laughs> no, I think, I think that'd be great. I really do. Okay. We've learned things over the years. I have. We'll discuss it after the end. That's a good way to yeah, roll it all together. Yep, a good idea. That's good. All right, so we're going to charge Randy and Melissa with that. As to the content, which is just a basic, this is what we have we formed, this is what we're doing, these are our meeting dates, here's some information about us, here's, um, here's how to get a hold of us, you know, we've got our meeting dates. Everybody on the board need to approve the letter before we send it out at the day? Okay. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Just it. Corey, right. I, I don't care. I mean, yeah, if you want to run it by me, I appreciate it, but I don't that, really. How about the signature of the chair? I think that chair, I think it'd be cool chair, if the chair whole person could see it before it went out. I know it's only it. another month. But the, can we just make sure she has? I mean, I'll give her my email address. She probably has it. She can just send off a quick little email with the letter. Boom. Yes. Fine. Yeah. But let's uh, let's get this going sooner rather than okay. later. I don't want to postpone. I, I like the, the progress. Let's how you get how you get all the addresses or. Um, we're gonna work. I don't know how, how are they doing. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I didn't hear the question. What? Make how we're gonna actually how you get, get the mailing addresses. addresses. You can probably get them right here from the yeah. village the clerk where the taxes get sent. I mean, where does actually get sent to? Right? There's gotta yeah. be a filter yeah. that you can filter boundaries and. If you look at. Uh, are you yeah. saying yeah. the email? No, 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 no mailing addresses. Physical mailing addresses. Oh, oh, that's yeah. We've. The water bills. Yeah, they said there's a way right here where the water bills get sent to the well, end. I mean, Rachel, it could almost 
just hand them out. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we take the morning. Yep. Yeah. You don't have any money. Yeah. You don't have yeah. Yeah. You know, they're not going to answer the door. They think you're going to yeah. speak. Yeah. 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 I'm going to yeah. read you your letter. Yeah. 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 Anything else? All right, let's move ahead. Um, I want to discuss committees. I don't want to form committees. I want to discuss them and discuss what we have got going on and, and maybe have some okay. ideas for next time around. Um, more homework. More homework. Um, there's, there's a lot to do. There's a lot that we can do. There's a lot, and, and maybe we wait until we talk to this lady at the Main Street program. But I want to at least have the, the seat of thought passed out. I mean, we were supposed to have 12 people, but so far we haven't had everybody show up at the same time. Um, so there's a, a, you know, hopefully we can, between all 12 of us, can actually get some, some work done and uh, make this happen. Uh, one of the things, one of the committees, in my mind, is, is it doesn't take the whole board to help develop this plan. The committee can do work on this this uh, development plan and then make recommendations to the board and take input from the board as a whole. Right. So a group of four or five or six or how you know as long as we don't have a, a quorum can work on that and spend a lot of time. Another another committee may want to work on events or, or you know uh, community community fundraisers items fundraisers. You know another community might be. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen like an executive committee was listed on one when I looked at this, some some of these other ones, um, a planning committee, um, a communications committee. So that some of these are oh, that Randy, Michelle, and I do that. You know, wow, well, that's it. Wait. Let's yeah, you know, let's let's come up with the ideas of what we need to for the next meeting. I don't want to sit and discuss it now necessarily, but it would be nice listening to their go back to Boyne City if they would come in and discuss yeah, some they committees that they yeah, how they set theirs up. Yeah. yeah. So I guess keep that in the back of your head, and, and I, I will try to get somebody from Boynton City to, to come and visit us maybe um, for our next meeting. On that top of great. on top of the lady from the Main Street program, we'll see if we can do them both. If they'd be willing to do that. Ten thirty. Nine thirty. Well, they just think it's for ten fifteen minutes. We don't have to be here for an hour. I think it's important, kind of, that we, as we, actually accomplish something, which will be our first testimony or. Right. That we document it and take pictures of something that we can yep. grow on, yep. Yep. so that it, this is our success. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know, like the one dollar that's earned in business, or for, <laughs> but we need to be able to make sure that we don't let that fall under the cracks. The first one, right. especially. Right. That's, that's, a good, that's a great idea. So yeah. maybe the website with pictures. I was going to say I, I would hope we would do that for like the website and stuff. Anyways, you know, yep. before and after if we decide okay. to clean up a lot, or right. you know, just so that people can see. The improvements and the changes that we're making. Because, like, when I was talking about that that stuff that we were cleaning up in Minnesota, they actually found a a, physical, a dead body in the spot oh. that we worked on. Did you take a the picture? Of that? Yeah, we can be talking about it. Which is fine. The church group that before. worked a week before us found the body. Oh <laughs> no! no. Oh. So, but. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that was a negative, but I mean, I hope we don't find that. Yeah. How do we, how do we work there? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that would be great. It's all in Indian burial town. The ghost of 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 the the only other thing I have is in your packets, I included a DDA contact information and questionnaire. I, I don't have everybody's phone number, and I, I included that in there so that I could, we, 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 we're trying to look ahead and think about what we might have on a website, so we have some questions on there. Um, but also, I, I wanted a name, somewhere to mail stuff to if we had to do a mailing. Um, you can put your personal email, but I won't use that, because I, now that I know that that's foyable, we'll, we'll just wait. But a phone number so I can contact everybody. I, you know, I can go knock on doors, but that takes me an hour to go around and talk to everybody, and then we end up talking for 20 minutes, half hour at each stop, and it just it's it's a lot ends up being a long morning. If I just make, pick up the phone and make a call, it'll be a lot easier. Um, and then if you don't mind, I'll put that information on the Google Drive so that if we need to contact each other, mm -hmm. that we have a directory. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason that's in the packet as well. Um, I don't have anything else for committee discussion as a new job.
questions. Okay, as long as nobody else does, I'll move on. I have to open any emails. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you want Missy to send you a letter, she's going to need your personal email. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, and the other thing is the village is setting up email databases like there, there's one for village council, planning commission, PDA, chamber, with, 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 with the members' email addresses if they're willing to give it to the village. So I'm, I'm not saying what information or whatever, but if their information goes out, we can easily send it out to those groups. So if you put your email address on there, is it okay if we put that on the village's email database? Because that's all we use for it. Like, you know, monthly meeting, I, I can't say what will go off, but we're setting up those email addresses so we can get information out to people as we see necessary. So. I don't have a problem. My email being, yeah, yeah. We, we want information. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm Information only is all the village will use for it to send it out. Now, that's a good question. Is the stuff the village sends me personally foilable? There's a whole FOIA retention schedule. You could spend an hour reading it. Emails fall in the same category. Whatever category the email falls under, if it was written, is where it falls. What I can tell you is probably most emails are, are going to be able to get rid of one. Once the question is asked and answered, you, you, can, you don't have to keep that record. I, I personally don't think anything I ever email, I don't, I don't keep it because there's no reason to. I'm not saying delete it. I'm just saying it, it has to be kept under the FOIA retention schedule. But as far as if I send you an email that says there's a meeting at 7 p.m., I guarantee one, once that meeting occurs, or maybe after you get the information, you, you don't no longer need to keep it. But okay. there is a FOIA retention schedule, which I'll get for you. Corey, can we fill out these essay questions? Oh, you like do it later. Yeah, yeah. 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 that doesn't have to be done the second. I just want to work Yeah, before it gets to 10 30. Is there other questions? I have a plan. Well, I mean, it's pretty easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep it. Yeah. Just keep it. Um, we, we set up. Um, you um, via email, 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 I've got your phone number, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like other people necessarily, like Mark Kirk, I don't have a phone number. I'll send you my, my That's long right. responses. That's right. I just wanted to make sure I've got contact information for everybody because it was difficult. I, there's, I had no way to get in the this information ahead of right? time. And, and if the secretary is going to be sending out information ahead of time that we need, we need to have this. Hey, you're the boss. You just tell us what you want us to do, and we'll do it. <laughs> Don't tell them that. I didn't even it's taken me a long time to get to the understanding. He's not the boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you ever get on the internet and just do some of the evening for stuff? Um, you, you do that much. Is there any other discussion? I am probably the last guy crawling out of the cave when it comes to a computer. And Corey can tell you that. <laughs> 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 Getting um, better, but let's move on to public comment then. Uh, do we have any public comment? No public comment. Uh, public comment period is closed. Do we have any board comments? Anybody want to say anything? No. Nice meeting. Thank you. Board comments are closed. <laughs> Chairman comments. I just want to say that I'm very excited and look forward to seeing what we can do as a, as a board. Um, and I'm excited every week, so every every month. So and, and I'm going to continue to be excited. Two so far. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Two months in a row I've been excited. And it was just like, seems like it was just a week ago. Yeah, but it was September. <laughs> this is October. Okay. I got my excitement for the last month. Um, and I am excited about moving forward with this and, and uh, I look forward to the next meeting. Um, chairman comments are closed. I need a motion to adjourn. Oh, sure. I make a motion that we adjourn. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Corey, because you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, no you can, not really. <laughs> Oh,